Happy Thursday, Frank Rock, House of Orange Sports Channel. We're in a revolving door of transfer portal madness right now. Tennessee, it seems like every day right now. Maybe it's not quite that uh, frequent, but another day, another entry to the portal. Probably the biggest one to date yet. Jonas Adu, he's in. He's in the portal. He actually, it's kind of, he, he entered the portal, but he's declaring for the NBA draft. So I've kind of speculated during the season. I said I had read about Adu's stock was going up at one point. I could see him declaring, getting feedback. You know, could he, at one point, some of the draft analysts were saying he could creep up into the second round. Um, so is his stock still there? He's going pro. He's going to clear for the draft, but he's also going to enter the portal. So that tells me if he doesn't go to the draft, uh, he's coming back to college, but it does not appear it'll be in Knoxville. So, you know, what's going on here? What is going on in Knoxville? Is it all about money? Is Barnes, is, I mean, is he urging these guys to go? I can't sit here and think it is, and I've seen nothing to suggest it's anything Barnes is urging with guys. Some of them the writings on the wall. I can see it with a Freddie DeLeon, a DJ Jefferson. Um, you know, but with Toby Awaka, with Jonas Adu in there, this is guys I've got to think this staff want to come back. Now, with Adu, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty down on him to end of the year. And, um, you know, maybe he is replaceable. Maybe he is. Maybe not. I don't know. I, it's hard for me to say. You're going to have to get a guy who serves a specific role to replace him. In my opinion, you got to bring a guy who can come in and bruise a guy who can come in and beat and bang, who can control that middle, who can guard an opposing team's big. Let's face facts. When Tennessee lost games this year, it boiled down to that position. Was he the only reason they didn't uh, win these games? No. But you could point to his production in losses. And I had talked about that a while back. I think I've thrown all my stuff away now where I did the notes on it. His numbers were way down in those games. Well, what happened against Purdue in the NCAA tournament? What do you he didn't even play 20 minutes in that game. Tobey Awaka, J.P. Estrella, it was on them to defend Zach Eady. And they did what they could against him. They really did. Uh, the time is now for J.P. Estrella. I saw there, there is an article on VolQuest about it. I've not read it. I don't have a VolQuest subscription. But I uh, saw where Grant Ramey has written an article and posted it talking about with Awaka and Adu gone that J.P. Estrella's time is now. I cannot agree more. Now's the time for him to take advantage. And, you know, what's his game? What is his game? Supposedly coming out of high school, this is a guy who could step out and hit the outside shot. I hope that's his game, a guy who can stretch the court and stuff. So now, I mean, you're looking at, you're basically looking at six open spots on this roster. And I saw somebody ask Ben McKee, how many are they going to add? And, uh, you know, he, he made an interesting, you know, I, I don't necessarily think he's always right, all right? but. You know, these guys, they have inside information. They're uh, they're in the know. They're in the know. They post what they do. They're vague in their responses, which is going to bring me to another rumor here in a minute where I've seen, you know, the responses are kind of vague on this as well. But um, they have 13 open spots. He said he could see Tennessee maybe trying to fill 11 or 12 because it's too hard to try to please 13 guys today. Yeah, I mean, it really is. And, uh, you know, do they try to fill them all? I don't know. I don't know that they will either. Uh, but I think, you know, could you find a guy in the portal who could help you down the line? We'll see. But here's what Tennessee has coming back. Now, Jordan Ganey, Sakai Ziegler, Cade Phillips, J.P. Estrella, Jemai Meshack, and Cameron Carr. That's it. That's six guys coming back. Bishop Boswell comes in. That makes seven. This is without any further defections you've got six open spots according to your scholarship limit on this roster we know that you know if you listen to the video yesterday darling stone dubar who is let's say a guard he's a wing from hofstra he'll be in this weekend one of the listeners in the chat said uh he's heard from a booster that dubar is going to be in the fold you know, it's uh, one of those things I don't see where Dubar has any other visit set up. I think that's got to bold well for Tennessee. Hopefully he leaves Knoxville this weekend committed to Tennessee. That's a good start. A guy come from Hofstra, 
ranked fifth in the CAA conference last year. Looked like a guy who could do a little bit of everything across the board. That would be a good start. Names still, I've mentioned a few names I've seen here and there. Nothing in stone. I haven't seen any centers listed as of yet. All the guys I've seen have been in that 6'6 six, six to 6'8 six, range. Uh, B.J. Freeman, Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Eric Daly, Oklahoma State. Um, you know, there, there's been others who I've seen. Uh, St. Thomas from Northern Colorado is a guy I've seen mentioned as well. Same, kind of the same type players there. But Tennessee's got to go to the portal now to get a big, if not multiple big guys in. And uh, so, I mean, what's going on here? I don't know that anybody knows. I don't know if it's as simple as it's about money. I don't know if, again, I, I talked about earlier, has Barnes urged some guys to leave? Has Barnes have some guys on the hook that he's ready to bring in? But I, anything right now is a guess. It's a guess. It, it really is. And, uh, you know, I put on here as well, I, I have my bullet points with it. Is Adu the last affection? If you look at the cover art for this, there are some rumors. There's some smoke around Jemai Meshack. That's one I hope doesn't. I know right across Meshack's uh, mother is on Twitter. She's tweeting about everybody is coming after these guys. I've heard, I've seen McKee refer to that teams have been coming after Meshack. He was very vague. Somebody asked that there was a thread on 24-7 about Meshack, and uh, McKee simply responded, as of Thursday this afternoon, he's not in the portal. That was not, you know, if you're looking for a definitive answer, that was not it. So, you know, could we see Jemai Meshack hit the portal? The college game, as we know, it's being ruined, which is going to bring me to a topic I'm really interested in. I think I'll go more in detail on another video with it. But is this type of stuff going to lead to Rick Barnes leaving sooner rather than later? The coaching pool for candidates to go to big schools. It's, I mean, you see what Kentucky, Tennessee knows about this. Tennessee, I see Tennessee fans more worried about Kentucky getting turned down. Think back to our football searches. We know all about this. So, I mean, we've known it for the last, what, two to three, couple of searches in football, how many times they got turned down. So, Kentucky fans are seeing it now. Guys are not in a hurry to go to these bigger schools. It's not all about the money anymore. Um, so, is this going to lead to Barnes leaving sooner rather than later? If he does, who does Tennessee get? In that case, there's a part of me starting to think maybe that next head coach could currently be on staff if it goes that route. Maybe it's a case of a guy currently on staff takes it over. I've got one guy in mind on that who's been with Barnes for a few years now. But um, where's Tennessee going to go? Names are names in the port. There is just not a lot of information out there right now. There just is. I'm trying to bring what I'm getting out of uh, message boards, out of just chatter where there's smoke, there's fire. Sometimes where there's smoke, there's a blanket ready to be thrown upon it. Sometimes I, there's just not a lot of info out there, but I will say this, everything I've seen as far as portal rumors, guys for Tennessee going to the portal so far, so good. I'm hoping with Meshack, it turns out not to be true, but I will say this. All right. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I will say this as well. I appreciate what Jonas A do. Toby Awaka, Jemai Meshack have done for this program, all right? But let's make no mistake about it. Each of those guys have deficiencies in their games. I don't want any of them to leave. I'm out of all three, if Meshack goes, and I hope he doesn't, you can upgrade those positions, though, all right? So it's, is the grass always greener? No. Is there a, a way to improve this roster? Absolutely. Tennessee and Rick Barnes right now, out of all the guys leaving, they have opportunities to improve this roster to take it to the next level. It's a different day and age. Maybe they're okay with this. Maybe they're not. I don't know the answer to that. I don't know that anybody other than the guys behind those doors in Knoxville know that. But here's what I do know. Jonas Adu is in the portal. Tennessee has six spots open right now. Will they be able to fill them all? It may be hard to do. Um, but I'm excited to see who else comes to campus. If Dubar doesn't have any more visits lined up, you got to like the chances of him being the first in the fold. And whoever's coming in, especially if they're looking for opportunity, you better believe it's there. You better believe it's there. 
right now. Uh, the sky, it, like I said, it is open for JP Estrella. It is open for Cameron Carr. It is open for Jordan Ganey. It's open for Zakai Ziegler to take that next step in Knoxville. Who else is going to join? I've still seen rumors of Cade Phillips maybe at some point. So could he go as well? Who knows? Who knows what's going on down there and bring you what I know up to this point, which is a little, but at the same time, it's been a lot up to this point. There's a long ways to go in Tennessee filling this roster out. I hope you'll keep tuning in here and we'll keep you up to date as soon as possible. This crap keeps breaking in the middle of the day, so it's a few hours before I can get to that unless it's on the weekends, but um, y'all you know, get it on here as soon as possible. We'll keep rolling with any concrete news. Anything that's a, a substantial rumor, I, I don't care to talk about a substantial rumor. I'm not going to talk about an outlandish one, though, either. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you like, you share, you subscribe to this channel. It is free. It is free. There's no cost for that. Uh, always grateful for all the sports comments, uh, anything along the way. But my name is Frank Rock. This is the House of Orange Sports Channel coming at you. The only things I know at this point I'm going with, LSU preview for baseball coming later tonight, tomorrow night post-game, Tennessee LSU. Who knows where the chat may go. We may talk a little portal. We may talk going into spring football practice, uh, the orange and white game on Saturday. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. And as always, go Vols.